Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your cardio fusion workout. So in this workout, we will use body weight exercises to get a heart pumping, fat blasting cardio workout, as well as get some sculpting and toning for our muscles. As always, I will give you different options, so listen to your body and work to your fitness level. You don't need any equipment for this workout, just a little bit of space to move. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start just marching. You can march it or you can jog it. Whatever feels good for you, roll through those shoulders to the back and to the front. We are gonna get a quick warm up, but we will keep it short. You can make those arms a little bit bigger. The main goal of this dynamic warm up is just to get the blood flowing, the heart pumping, get everything warm, and be working through those movements and getting movement prep for the exercises that we're going to do. One more, take it out nice and wide, kind of lean hip to hip, rotate through the shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Cardio fusion. So the entire thing is going to be a cardio workout. The entire thing is also going to be a strength and toning workout. Walk your feet in, flat back down. But the way it's gonna work, we have four mini circuits. They're gonna go by quick. Each circuit starts with a cardio based move that you do for 45 seconds. Then you do a strength based move that also will be cardio for 45 seconds. Then you put them together, two and two, for one full minute. Then you get a quick breather. If you need to grab a sip of water, I'll ask you to keep moving. That can be jogging or tapping it out. Or if you need more of a breather, you can get more water, take more of a break in that little in-between time if you need to. And then I will preview our next two moves for our next circuit. So four mini circuits. You do 45 seconds of the first two, one minute together, quick break. And then once we get through those four circuits, we will do it all again. Hopefully that didn't sound too confusing. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through it the entire time. Let's take those hands up. Our strength move is going to be something that's lower body and upper body, or our last circuit will be down on the mat, upper body and core. So we'll be aiming to get a lot of things working in that strength move, which will in turn get our hearts pumping. So I promise it's gonna feel like cardio the whole time. Just do a little elbows to knees. I am gonna give you different modifications, low impact and high, like I normally do. And I will also be giving some specific cues if you are pregnant, especially second and third trimester when we do more of those modifications or if you were early postpartum, just getting back to exercise after having a baby, or if you think or know that you have diastasis recti, which is that ab separation, I'll give you some specific modifications for that. It really mostly, let's step touch, comes into play in that last circuit down on the mat. I'll just have you stay in quadruped on your knees, or you can take it to the wall. So several, options depending on your fitness level and again some specific options for what i'll call ppdr right okay so you keep moving jogging or marching here is your very first circuit we are going to do just your basic knees so you can be here bringing them in or you can add a little jump with it it's up to you you can even just pick the knee up but keep the toe on the ground any of those options will do just bringing the knees up if you want to add a little more of a twist, I would say avoid the twist if you're that PPDR population. Otherwise, if you want to get a little more core. Your strength move is going to be a deep squat with a bicep curl. So as if we had weights, curl towards your shoulders, bring it up. Curl towards your shoulders. When we put them together, we will go two knees, two squats with curls. Make sense? All right, get in position. We're starting with those knees. We have 45 seconds, you pick your level, ready, here we go. So knees, little cardio to get the heart pumping. Again, you can make it a little more of a jump if you want. You can make it a little more of a twist if you want, up to you. You can even keep it grounded if you want. Either way, the goal is to get the heart rate up, Get the energy up too, since we're just getting into this. 
one of the main benefits of exercise is increased energy, right? And getting those feel good hormones, those endorphins, serotonin levels. Five seconds, three, two, one. Tap it out, catch your breath. We're gonna go into that squat and curl. So with the squat, I want you to get as deep as you can and I want you to squeeze the hands towards your shoulders as if you had biceps, nice and tight. Ready, here we go. 45 seconds, breathe. So really if you visualize and think you're not just going through the motions like this, but you're really squeezing so we get the arms working too. And again, we're not just here. I want you to really try to get low, squeeze up through the glutes at the top, zip up in the core. Keep it going, right? Little leg burn. If you can't get as low, that's okay. I want you to be where you are today. You work to your level. If you showed up today, you are successful. That's all that matters. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. All right, we got a full minute, guys. Breathe for a second. You got two knees, low impact or high, two squats with the curls, still getting low. You don't have to rush through it. Just keep it moving. One minute, here we go. Knees, knees, squat and curl for two. Knees, knees, get low, power up. And low, yeah legs, there we go. And down, and down, keep it going. Strong, sit into those hips. And again, you can even keep it grounded with the knees and keep it a little higher with the squat. Up to you. And breathe, and breathe. Up, 15 seconds, low to high. Yes. One more. Get low. And relax. So little leg burn. Hopefully you felt those arms too. And a lot of heart rate. Quick sip of water if you need it. I want you to keep moving. You can jog it out or you can even go back to those knees. Watch me quickly. We're gonna do a shuffle side to side. So shuffle, whatever space you have in your space, it might be smaller, it might be bigger, low impact. You can just do a double step and just keep it moving. Nice athletic stance. And then your strength move, it's gonna be a lunge and fly. So we're gonna lunge, squeeze those elbows together. Lunge, squeeze those elbows together. Modification, you can keep it just a tap back, but keep that front leg working. When we put them together, if we're gonna shuffle, lunge. Shuffle, lunge and fly. Make sense? It will. All right, here we go. Starting with that shuffle. Ready, here we go. So quick feet, double step works too. This is your low impact version. Think about that core being engaged. You can get the arms moving. On this shuffle, I tend to kind of just go up and down, moving laterally. Quick feet, either way. You don't have to go as fast as me or as slow as me. It's good if you can stay low or keep a little bend in the knees so we get that athletic stance. 10 to go. Breathe. Yes. Three, two, one, and relax. Legs are already feeling it on that, right? All right, alternating your lunges. You breathe for 10 seconds, drop it down, squeeze those elbows in, squeeze them back. Lunge and squeeze. Here we go, 45, and out. Squeeze and out. If you need to modify and not go as low, I want you to still think about Getting that front leg working, you're just not dropping that back knee, but still push into that heel. As you come in, bring those elbows in. Lunge, squeeze. If you can actually get your elbows touching, that's great. 
Not everybody has that flexibility and that's okay. Just again, think really intentional with those movements. Shoulder blades, chest and shoulders. Back of the body, whoop, and front. Five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. All right, team, we're gonna put them together. So remember, we're going to one side shuffle, take that inside leg, lunge it back, squeeze. Other side shuffle, inside leg. Here we go, take off, shuffle, lunge and squeeze. Hands up the whole time if you can. That's gonna keep that heart rate working. Keep your back and shoulders working. Double step, works two. Double step, lower impact. Again, keeping them up here, pull those shoulders back and then as you come in, really squeeze. That's gonna keep those arms working. I know, we don't want this to be all lower body. Core's engaged too. 30 seconds to go, I know. This is a long set. That's why we get those breaks after this mini circuit. And again, if you don't wanna go down as low in the lunge, just tap it, but keep that front leg working. 10 to go. Squeeze. Last one, ah! Balance. Yes, relax. Whew. Quick sip of water if you need it. Keep your feet moving. Two circuits down, guys. I told you they're gonna go by fast. I know when you're doing that minute one, it doesn't feel fast, but we'll get through the workout fast. All right, you can keep it moving, tap or jog, or back to that shuffle, it's up to you. We're gonna come to two jumping jacks, or to jumping jacks, for our cardio. You can keep it low impact, one side and then the other, or full jacks, whatever feels good for you. Then our, car, our strength, we're gonna do a transverse lunge. So I want you to think of it like a side lunge and bring it up. We're also going to pull down and bring it up. So if you don't wanna do that diagonal transverse, you just keep it here, side lunge, here. Hands are going up, hands are pulling down. Then we do two jacks, transverse, transverse. Ready with our jacks, here we go. Low impact is here, or even here. Whatever you got, you keep going. I'm gonna tie my shoe, that would be a problem. Four jacks, nice and light, it's up to you. If you wanna make them a little quicker, here's something to watch guys though. Fine to be here, I would rather you be really strong with those arms, watch the difference. I'm just flopping around here, really squeezing in, squeezing out, right? Same thing if you're here. Difference between here, right? So we really get the toning in the arms. We work that posture. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Relax, heart rate, right? All right, transverse lunge. It's a side lunge. We're gonna pull those elbows down. Helps to kind of bring that heel up, back to center. Think of it as a diagonal, like you're making a triangle. Here we go. Back to center, straight up. Squeeze, center. Now, sometimes you guys write to me or comment that you feel like you're not getting the, the transverse lunge, right? Sometimes we do it in a plie. You can just take it side to side. We open up the hips in that diagonal to get into the, what we call the transverse plane, just for hip mobility, flexibility. But if that feels weird to you at all, just take it in a regular side lunge, lateral lunge. Squeeze those elbows in, shoulder blades in, and bring the thumbs together at the top. Here we go. Get deep into the hip. Five seconds, can you get one more each way? Yes, shake it out. All right, let's put them together. You got two jacks, two transverse, right? All right, here we go. Two jacks, transverse pull, whoop, transverse pull. Two jacks, strong, transverse pull. I know it's a little hard to switch from the quick to the strength, and breathe, but I want you to just think, 
that you're getting really precise, really low on those transverse. Again, if you need to go side, breathe. Yes, one, two, about to step all over these kettlebells. Up, up, here we go. 10 to go. Breathe. Last one. Breathe. Yes. And relax. Good work, team. Quick sip. Whew. All right. So keep it moving. You can tap it, you can jog it. You can go back to those jacks. It's up to you. Watch me here. We're into that last move. It's gonna be down on the mat. So my mama's prenatal, early postnatal, or ab separation DR, I want you to stay on your knees. We're gonna do a plank jack with a reach. So you're out to the side, reach out to the side. Everybody else, if you can, we're going here, plank jacks, either tapping out or jumping out, nice and light, a lot of core. Then we have our plank press. Again, modifying your knees, especially if you're PPDR, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, or knees here, or toes. Then we put them together. Here we go, plank jack. Modification, I want you to reach out to the side, reach out to the side, opposites. I know it's not gonna feel as much like cardio, but that's okay, you're still gonna strengthen in that core. Everybody else, if you can, be here. Tap or tap or jump and jump. Think about that core staying lifted. As we get tired, it's gonna be tempting to go here. So we really wanna lift up in the center and keeping the knees soft. So that way when we land, it's a nice soft landing. Just like that, I know 10 seconds, but you can do it. Lots of core, lots of cardio, four, three, two, one, stretch. We're gonna stay down, plank press. Up, up, down, down, switch up, up, down, down. I want you to think about it being with the core and lots of upper. Here we go, modification, up, up, down, down, push through the arms either way or here. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. If you can, all the way up. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Again, making sure we're not letting it drop. We're lifting in the center. Modify on knees or quadruped. If you need to, take your time. Even if you're going super slow on this, you're gonna feel that heart rate. You're gonna feel the upper body working, right? So no need to go super fast. Here we go, last five. Breathe and stretch it back. All right, we're down here. Modification, you're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, reach, reach. Everybody else, up on knees or upper toes. Here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, jack, jack. So you can, if it feels better for you, you can stay down and do your jacks here, or bring it all the way up, 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 down, down. So you're just switching where you do that jack. Second time through, we're gonna do it on both. Ha, huh, so get excited. I know guys, this is a long minute. So if you need a little stretch break, take it back to here, then bring it back. This is gonna be the hardest one. That's why we put it at the end. Keep it going. Drop to the knees if you need to. Up, up, down, down. Two jacks, we're starting here. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So much core, last one. You got it. Stretch it back. Oh man, you guys. Breathe, take a full minute, stretch out those arms. I know that was a lot. We're gonna do all of that again. We'll have a few little variations if you want them, or you can keep it exactly the same. Grab a sip. You're doing great. 
Everybody breathe for 30 seconds. If you wanna keep moving, you can. All right, four circuits. They're gonna go fast. You got this. Let's finish it out strong. With the knees, if you want, we're really gonna cross it, cross it, cross it, cross it. With that squat, if you wanna take the toes out and have your curl be here, you can take it there. Are we ready? Starting with the knees, 45. Whew. Ready, here we go. Cross, cross, cross. I forgot, we're just doing you gotta lean into it side to side. If you wanna just keep your regular knees, either low impact or high, whatever feels good for you. Yes. Keep it going. Really slice it across if you can. Cardio, heart rate, but also lots of core right and keeping those arms working. 10 seconds. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. You can keep that regular squat or toes out, elbows out. You're still gonna squat and squeeze. Biceps, legs, we can add a little inners. Ready, here we go. And breathe. Heart rate is gonna stay up. So there's no need to do this fast. In fact, the lower we can get, the more cardio we actually will get because more muscle recruitment. So the difference between if you're trying to go fast with it, you're gonna feel it more everywhere if you get low and a little slower. And remember with those arms, we're not just flapping them here really tight. Imagine that you had weights or another good image is if you're pushing the air towards your shoulders we're keeping it open so we open up the chest. Keep that back working, always with those posture muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax. All right, it's gonna be a little tricky moving our knees, so you find what works for you. Two knees, two squats and curl, or squat and curl here. One minute, last time, here we go. Knee, knee, Toes out if you got them. Curl. Knee, knee. Yes. Jump it if you want. Get low. Squeeze. And here. We're about halfway there. You can do it last 30 seconds. Hook. Breathe, yes. Keep it going. 15 to go, nice and strong. High on the knees, low on the squat. Full range of motion on that squat. Down, up, down, up. One more with each. Yes, relax, quick sip. Keep it moving if you can. Knees if you can. Whew, watch me. Mostly the same, guys. With that shuffle, we're gonna add a little punch. Just on the cardio part. With that lunge, if you want, we're gonna curtsy it. Step it over, curtsy. You can keep regular if that feels better for your knees. When we put them together, same idea. You can do the curtsy. Shuffle, 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 step, curtsy, or regular lunge, right? And again, modification, even if you're curtsying, is just not going as low, keeping the weight in that front leg. All right, shake it out, jog it out. 10 seconds to breathe. Starting with that shuffle, get low. Let's take our guard up, punch it if you can. Here we go. Shuffle, punch, shuffle, punch. Low impact, it's just a side step, but that strong punch. Turn your hips and your knees. Shuffle, shuffle, punch. Shuffle, shuffle, and you don't have to go this speed. You can go a little slower, 
or even faster, as long as you have good form. Shuffle, shuffle. Keep it going. Breathe. So working in circuits, it's almost similar to that Tabata round, but we got three minutes instead of four. Last one, breathe. And then we get that heart rate up. We get the minute break, but you're moving within that minute break. All right, you can lunge it and squeeze fly or curtsy it, cross it over. Here we go. Alternating here, pull back. Here, pull back. Lunge and up. Watch me from the side so you can see. Really get low, squeeze, open out. Squeeze, open out. And up. Again, modification, you can keep it that regular lunge or just step back or keep it a step, but you're keeping it in that front leg. You got 15 seconds. Whatever you got, be where you are today. Breathe. Yes, can you get a little lower? A little more open and in. Last one. Yes. Oh. All right, put them together. Shuffle. I want you to stop that shuffle first and then go into that lunge. What I don't want you to do is feel like you have to go right into the lunge. I don't want anybody whoo, to torque their knee that way. Here we go. Shuffle, lunge and squeeze. Lunge and squeeze. Curtsy if you want. If you'd rather stick with that regular lunge, that works too. And remember, shuffle can just be a big double step, right? Yes, it's gonna feel long. And again, keeping those hands up the whole time. Or how are those shoulders feeling? You're feeling it, right? But think squeeze, squeeze. That is keeping our heart pumping just as much as the movement, right? You got 15 seconds. Make it good. Can you get a little quicker on the shuffle? A little lower on the curtsy for the lunge? I think you can. Yes. Last one. Ha. Breathe. Catch your breath, guys. Quick sip. I know, usually in cardio workouts, we don't get breaks every three minutes, but this is a little different. But again, keep moving. Double step if you need to, or shuffle. All right, guys, Woo. with our jacks, here's the difference. We're gonna go up, out, up, out, or here is low impact, just for a different arm movement. If you feel more comfortable with your regular jacks, keep it there. Woo. With our transverse, instead of pulling down, I want you to touch and reach, touch, and reach or side lunges here if you can. If you can't get that low, just keep it regular. Those are just some options to mix it up a little bit for your body and your brain. But if you wanna keep with what you just did because your muscle memory knows it, by all means, go for it. Ready with those jacks, here we go. Up, out, up, out, or low impact. And again, really strong and intentional with those arms not just letting them fly. Yes. Hup. Squeeze. And we're not letting them drop here. Try to keep them level. Again, keeping those arms working for the posture. I know. Woo. Just keep moving. I'm tempted to stop when it gets hard, but maybe I'll just take it to that low impact so I can keep moving. 10 seconds. Low on energy today. My kids were both up during the night, but I still showed up. That's all that matters, relax, breathe. All right, transverse, if you can. I want you to sit deep, touch, big stretch. So we're working on flexibility, mobility, big push. Here we go. Join me here, 45 seconds. Woo! Notice what I just did. I don't want you to just lean into it. Again, really precise and reach, and reach, down, and up, and up. You got it. 
breathe, get that stretch. Really get deep if you wanna keep it side. You can do the same thing here. Reach, reach, up. Little twist. So if you're one of my mamas, don't twist too much. PPDR, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, two jacks. We're up, we're out, we're transverse, we're transverse. Keep it going. Last move up top, ready. Here we go. Front, outside, transverse, transverse. Let's go front, out. Take it up, out, yes. A low impact, up, out. Still get deep, guys. You got 30 seconds to go. Can you get a little quicker on those jacks? And then not so much quicker, but deeper on that transverse. Up, out. Yes. 10 seconds to go. Breathe, I think we got time for one more all the way through. Yes. Good, relax. You did it. Quick sip. All right guys, last move on the mat. All right, so little variation if you want it. If you wanna come up with that challenge, whew, breathe, you guys can keep moving. Jog it out or keep with those jacks, but watch me here. If you want on that plank jack, we're gonna go out, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go out, we're gonna go in. As you come in, it's a little bit of a pike. Knees are coming up. And if you want on that plank press, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, you can jump it into that pop-up. Little bonus legs. So you don't have to do it unless you want to. You can do the same thing from the knees and just walk it up. All right, starting with the jack. Remember that modification. Ready, here we go, 45. Modification, you're reaching opposite, opposite. Reach, keep that core engaged. If you can, take it here. You can do just those plank jacks. For cardio, keep the core engaged, but keep it moving, knee soft, or out, in, out, in. So you're not going in super high like you would if you were on those hands, just enough to have to do a little tuck for that core. 15 seconds, keep it going. Out, tuck, out, out, yes. Keep it going strong. We are so close. Three, two, one, relax. <laughs> All right, plank press. You can keep it up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. If you wanna pop it up into that low squat, you stay low the whole time, you can. It's up to you. Here we go, down, down. This is your modification. And you can pop it up on this too. Walk it up, walk it up and then make sure you walk back down on your knees. Down, down, up, up. Walk it up. Walk it to your knees. If you can, right here. Down, down, up, up. Pop and pop. Yes. Pop. Also, here's an option on these knees here, and then up on your feet to walk it in or pop it in. Five seconds, one more, all the way through. Yes, breathe. All right, team, we got one minute. It's long, but it's the last thing we're gonna do. No bonus move, nothing like that. Let's just finish it out strong. If you can, Whew. here we go. We're gonna take it down, jack, take it up, pike. Take it down, jack, take it up, pike. Modification, we're just here, down, down, jack, jack, down, down, or whatever version works 
for you guys. Don't worry about the pop-up. Let's just focus on the core. So you can do a plank jack at the bottom on the elbows, the pike, knees in, knee tuck at the top. You got 30 seconds, finish it out strong. Take it right, left, jack, up right, left, pike, down left, right, jack, up left, right, knee tuck, knee tuck, pike, same thing. Up, up, left, jack, up, 10 to go. Up, last one. Woo! Yes. Oh, that was a hard one to end on, right? Stretch it back. I'm sure even if you were modifying on your knees, even if you're a pre or post, I hope you still felt that. A lot of core engagement. Either way, big stretch back. And breathe. Good work, team. I know that was a lot. Let's take those knees out. So my hope with this workout is that it feels a little deceptive, as in you're getting a little break from the cardio with the strength moves. You're getting a little break from the strength with the cardio moves, but you're actually feeling it in your heart rate the whole time, as well as feeling it in your muscles the whole time. And again, with these mini circuits, a lot of times when I'm planning workouts, things I'm thinking about are different ways to mix it up for your brain as well as your body. I know it can get boring doing the same old squats and lunges and push-ups and things that we know work, which is why they've been around so long. So I am always trying to come up with variety to make it a little different for your brain not to get as bored, right? <laughs> Go ahead and come onto your knees, roll back onto your feet, come up halfway, let your head and neck relax. Little pedal of your feet and breathe and slowly roll it up. Yes. Whew. <sighs> Take those knees out again, open up through the shoulders. Be sure to check out all of my other cardio videos. I have a whole playlist for cardio as well as a whole playlist of no equipment workouts if that's what you're looking for. And check out all of my other playlists if you're looking for dumbbells, kettlebells, prenatal, postnatal, bands, balls, or broken down by body part or time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, that helps me be able to keep making completely free workouts for you. So hit that subscribe button and then like it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. That helps me out a lot. Please subscribe. Whew. Let's do a little hamstring stretch here. And then if you're looking for a little more structure to go along with these videos, make sure you check out my eBooks and programs and my nutrition guide. The links are in the description below. You can get more structure, more of a schedule and a routine as well as other info. Breathe, bring it in, round it up. One big deep breath in. Thank you for showing up today and moving with me. You did it. That was your cardio fusion workout. Great job, everybody.